All right, fifth graders, this assignment is one of the shorter texts called The Highest Court. So it is still a nonfiction text, still has to do with social studies. This time it has to do with the judicial branch. So if you remember, I think you've probably learned this before, in our government, we have three different branches. One of them is the executive. That's the president. Essentially, he enforces the laws, plus a few other people. We have the legislative branch. They make the laws, so Congress. And then we have the judicial branch. So these are all the courts. And this is what it is talking about in this little article or this little story. Now, here's a video you can watch to get some more background as well. Again, the more information you have, the easier it will be to understand this text. Otherwise, there's some words that might be less familiar. I also want to remind you about text to speech. Now, if it's not working, if you go up to these three little dots on the top right, see where my mouse is. Okay, and you go to OCR for scanned PDFs. I don't know exactly what it means, but I think it helps it recognize that it's actually words. And then when you do text to speech, it works better because there's a lot, there are still harder words in this one than you might have seen in some of the accountable texts from past weeks. Okay, and then there's just some questions. So read it, read it again. As you're answering them, go up and look. Make sure if it's telling you to underline sentences that you do. Um, again, just so yeah, what's the role of the Supreme Court? How are Supreme Court justices selected? Do you think the motto equal just justice under law is a good motto for the Supreme Court? So that's just your opinion based on what you know. Do you think it is true that they're giving equal justice under the law? And then what Supreme Court justices have you read or heard about? What do you know about these justices? They mentioned some in this video. I also read you a book about so Sonia Sotomayor. Excuse me. Um, you might have heard about Amy Coney Barrett who got uh, nominated and approved in October. Um, those are some of the more recent ones. You can always go look them up too, but make sure to watch that video and that'll give you some more information about it. Your code word today is graders. Graders. Some of you might be guessing at what the phrase is already, but the word is graders today. Do your best, I can help you, but remember it can read it to you, and then just read it a couple of times. Watch the second video to get some more background information. Good luck, you got it.